Welcome back, everyone. It's afternoon of day 10 of oh, Seven Days to Die. Welcome. I'm Nick. Uh, it's good to have you here. Welcome to the series where we're just kind of going through the zombie wastelands. Oh, as we cut apart this rotten meat one day at a time. Uh, I am super... Is that... Oh, I was going to say, I thought I saw a head pocking up, pocking up, poking up over here. What's up, buddy? That might have been a mistake. I don't know if I can get back up on that road now. So our trader has restocked. I've, oh, I can do it right here. Okay. Our trader has restocked. I've already been to the trader today, and I've already done some other things today. Right now, I've got a whole bunch of wooden traps on me, you'll see, because we are getting started on setting up a POI, so that way we can prepare for Horde Night. So we can beat up lots more of these kinds of guys. I met my first feral last night. If you guys recall, at the end of the last day... Ooh, there's a house over there. I'm actually coming back from the airdrop. That's why I'm way out here in kind of the middle of nowhere. But, uh, yeah. I met my first feral. I was at the Shotgun Messiah factory, which we're going to be going back to today. I'll do most of that off camera, though. I won't do that on camera and bore you guys with the same POI. That POI is so huge. Like, I did not even get a chance to do, like, a lot of stuff in there still. Like, there's still so, so much more to explore in there. So I want to get back in there and see if we can't find some more weapon stuff. I did, you'll see, make myself a double barrel shotgun and a pistol. We've got both of those rocking and rolling. And I just got a bunch of food, actually, out of the airdrop. But we're kind of... I hesitate to say it, because I know that a future episode that I edit for this is going to include, like, a, a failure sound drop, uh, because I'm going to be totally wrong about it, like I usually am, but I feel like I'm kind of okay right now in terms of preparation for Horde Night. One thing that I need to do, definitely, definitely need to do, is we're going to go to that fire department across from the trader, and there are a ton of those gas barrels in there. And we're going to take all that gas. I've got a ton of oil back at the house and a ton of cloth. And we are going to make a whole bunch of... Ooh, hello, big boy. What's up, baby? Oh, gross. Gross, 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 gross. Ugh. Ugh. Come on. There we go. See, I got attacked by a vulture inside of that shotgun messiah factory. Like, the vulture just... It w came through the skylight, came through the glass, smashed in and attacked me. Ugh, I hate those things. Have I mentioned how much I hate those birds? Ugh. But yeah. I feel like I'm in a pretty good place. we got to start making a lot of Molotov cocktails. I've got a bunch of wooden traps. I've got some concrete and stuff on me. I've got s not enough, but some cobblestone rocks on me. I actually need to kind of chip away some actual stone here so that way i can get myself a few different things we're gonna head over toward the trader here there's our fire department right there that's where we're gonna be setting up shop i believe for horde night why the fire department necessarily well i want to be relatively close to the trader because you end up with a lot of stuff and i i know about that utility worker i'll go back and get him in a moment like, I want to be relatively close to the trader. That way, in case there's a ton of stuff I need to sell or get rid of or trade out or whatever, I'm right here, and I don't have to travel very far to get to to get to get the trader. I also considered this uh, waterworks or this cooper oil. It's an oil factory or an oil refinery or whatever. Goodbye. But yeah, this way we're super close to the trader if and when we need to trade out anything or if and when we need to do anything. Uh, I can be right here and I can get it taken care of and I can get it done. I've got to collect some stone because I need more cobblestone rocks. I don't know what is this material here because this is something painted, I'm sure. Oh, that's iron? Something iron. And then we're going to concrete reinforce that. Okay. Okay. So that's kind of interesting to know. Uh, we've got, like I said, we've got a whole lot of different things. We've got a button up around here. See, like, I don't know what this is. Oh, that's already cobblestone, so that'll just take concrete to button up. Which I don't have a ton of concrete on me either, because I used a whole bunch of it doing stuff at the base. Oh, I saw, it. like, a spider zombie or something over here. That was weird. I totally thought I saw, like, a spider zombie or something over here. 
Can we? Seriously. Did I? I know I bought, like, I, I think I had, no, I couldn't buy repair kits. That's right, because she didn't have any, as usual. So, yeah, my pickaxe is kind of on its way out, unfortunately. But I need to collect up as much stone as I possibly can to make more cobblestone rocks. I'll join you guys back here in a few moments. Every once in a while, the game just provides for you. I found this, uh, th and this is like a new thing. I've never seen this kind of POI before, of just like an open, you know, box truck, like an 18-wheeler. And I just landed on six repair kits. Six repair kits in here. That's beautiful. Plus, there's a bunch of cement in here, which is always nice and is always going to kind of help me supplement my things. Plus, you know, cobblestone rocks, which, of course, we just found there. But that is a thing of beauty. That's going to make it a lot easier to kind of continue digging up rocks over here. Because I was really, really concerned that my pickaxe was just not going to hold out long enough to be able to get the amount of stone that I need. And I mean, we've got other things over here. What is this? Ham radios. A ham radio shop. But yeah, I've never actually seen like a big like 18-wheeler box truck kind of thing. That is really, really cool. I didn't know that that was a thing that they had had in the game or anything. Oh, these are already things I already did. All this kind of stuff we're going to get rid of. Because we need to... This is actually going to go as well. Whoa, what is, wake what is waking up in there? The sleepers may have respawned. I don't know what the respawn rate is for sleepers. Yeah, I wonder if the sleepers respawned. There's still another one in there somewhere, too. It's always possible I didn't explore every single part of this, either. Nope. I definitely know I've explored these bathrooms for sure. Because, yeah, I mean, all this stuff is empty. I've cleaned all of this stuff out. I'm not sure, like, what I'm going to do with, like, these rooms and stuff that are down here. Like, this is a huge open space down in here. And there's part of me that kind of, like, I can do this one of two ways. I can either let all the zombies in here and then kind of sit, like, up on the roof and, like, firebomb them from above. I'm thinking maybe that might be a kind of cool thing I can do. Oh, no. Oh, no. I am concussed. And... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Well, as per usual, I don't have any antibiotics on me to do squat. Yeah, I'm guessing all the sleepers must have respawned in here, which is fine. It's fine. Yeah, we need to replace, like, these garage doors. These garage doors aren't going to be able to hold up to anything. These windows are going to have to come out of here. Yeah, that's the kind of thing, though. It's like, I don't know necessarily what to do... Like I don't have a I don't have a specific strategy in mind yet for dealing with this entire for dealing with this entire place for dealing with this entire situation. Do we have more sleepers up here? Yeah, we do. Might as well come up here and get rid of the rest of them. We got a bunch of random nonsense up here. All this stuff has got to go. Can kind of get up onto the roof from up there. We've got bulletproof glass from up there. The zombies aren't going to be able to get to me very easily, which is going to be nice. He did. He did. Where are you, dude? Are you? Oh, the, you're in here, aren't you? Yeah. Bye. Good night. Go to bed. Thanks. <laughs> the end. <laughs> oh, you know what I also noticed the other day? I've totally... I've got three skill points available I have not used yet. I have no idea what I'm going to take uh, skill-wise. I haven't really decided that yet or anything, but it's just... Yeah, I, I don't know why my brain kind of breaks sometimes. And I just forget to do certain things in this game, but there we are. Just kind of a thing. But yeah, these garage doors have got to come out of here. I mean, definitely the garage doors. Like, there's no way these can stay here. And I think we just kind of got to fill this whole thing in on the side here. Ooh, that is now reinforced concrete. So this is already concrete. It's just painted as brick. Okay. Okay. It's good to know. I mean, I'm fine with reinforced concrete all the way around the bottom, say, two layers of the building. 
Then we're gonna have traps, obviously. I would love to get some electrical traps up and running, but I don't have any of that infrastructure in place yet at all. So I don't know how feasible it is for me to think, well, that's something that I can definitely do. Oh, that's bulletproof glass. Oh, that's annoying. Concrete that. I'll probably make some rebar frames back at the base when I go back there tonight. And we will fill up the bottom of this with rebar frames and everything. Because I should have tons of iron back in the forge. And I should also have... I do have tons of iron on my purse and I can see that there. But yeah, we'll be up on the roof somewhere. I'm guessing we may... It, it kind of depends because every... At least I... Granted, it's been a couple alphas since I've done a horde night. But they always used to approach from the direction that you weren't facing. So say if I faced in this direction toward the building, all the zombies would come from this direction when they attack. I don't know if that's still the case. That is how it used to be, though. So that's what I'm going to operate under the assumption of. But I need to have it prepared so that I'm prepared for the zombies to approach from any direction. Because, I mean, they could approach from... Is that a rabbit inside of my fire station over there? Come on, guy. What are you doing in here? Can I get him? Oh my god, I missed the rabbit completely again. How am I this bad? Also, where is that zombie? Oh, where were you? Were you like sleeping on a shelf up there? We've got these two gun safes in here. I got to wrench those apart yet because I got to get like a bunch of stuff out of them. All these shelves I'm probably going to tear out of here. I don't know what the interior of this building is going to look like. Because like I said, I think I want to have like a... Some kind of opening up on the roof as well that's going to peer down into here. What i got to do is I've got to get up onto the roof. There's a way to do that somewhere in here, I'm pretty sure. I am reasonably sure that's a thing. Maybe I imagined it, though. I don't know. Not in here anywhere. Not over there anywhere. I might have been imagining that. I really might have been. I don't know. I could just stick some ladders up and I can just kind of make my way up out of here somewhere. I almost walked off the edge of that. Just the last thing I would need is to get a sprain as well. What is this? Why can I not upgrade that at all? Like I can upgrade those. I can't upgrade this at all. What is this? Oh my God. That is like reinforced steel. Holy Moses. Okay. This is the perfect POI for this. I'm so glad I picked this place now. Uh, all right. So what we need to do now is frames let's get like i don't know like 40 because can this fit no there's something in the doorway here so we got to take out i believe the doorway yeah this thing has to come out of here yeah that's reinforced steel that is gloriousness they will never get through that I guess we could do wood half blocks if we really want to punch it, like, and make it look uniform. Which I'm going to try to do, because I'm a big uh, I'm a big fan of that kind of thing. A really, really big fan of that kind of thing. We're going to have to do these wooden traps literally all over the grounds. Get, like, all this stuff everywhere. Because I don't think I'm going to have a lot of electrical stuff. See, here's the kind of thing that bugs me, though, is these things. But these are concrete... Uh, those are going to take forever to get out of there, but this is also bulletproof glass. Like, this is going to take forever to chip out of there, but I don't know. Like, there's part of me that just kind of wants to leave it as is and just, like, trap the heck out of it. And once the zombies get inside, then we can deal with them when they get inside. And we'll just upgrade the other blocks here to reinforce concrete at the second level just to add a little bit more health to it. But yeah, that's kind of, like, the windows kind of irk me a little bit. Like, a little bit. Boop. I still haven't gotten myself, don't, why do you have to, with the extra swing sometimes? It drives me nuts. And I just wasted one concrete, so now I'm not going to be able to upgrade a full block. That's something. Ugh. Annoying. I need way more of these wood traps. Fortunately, I did spend a good portion of the morning chopping down a bunch of trees. To get a bunch of those. Can I express, like, one frustration I have with this game is now that I've taken a couple perks for gardening, we'll say. I've taken living off the land and all that kind of stuff so I can start building myself up some crops. 
I have four skill points to spend now. I really need to get spending those skill points. Why does it take like five of something to make one seed from it? So it makes it really, really complicated and really, really hard to start an actual farm. Like, especially things like, I'm sorry, like potatoes and corn. Like, seriously, why does it take five of them to make one seed? Like, I get like, fine, you should have a perk to do it. Like, I agree with that. But, like, why is it you have to have five of a thing in order to do that? Like, that does not... No. Because, like, I I have... I found a potato seed. I think I found it in the Shotgun Messiah. So, I had the potato seed, and I had another potato that I also um, can't do anything with. So, I planted one potato seed, and when I harvest it, I'm going to get two potatoes. But then I'm just going to have three potatoes. So, I'm still not going to be able to actually have, like, a potato farm. Uh, I'm still waiting. I found a blueberry seed recipe book. I believe I also found that at the Shotgun Messiah. So I was able to convert my five blueberries into one blueberry seed. So I'm now going to like harvest that and get two blueberries. But like it's just going to take forever to really kind of get started on a farm. You know? So I don't know. It's just It's just a frustration I have with the game. Like I don't know why it's designed like that. Um, I mean, the crops stay there, so, like, I'll harvest them, and then they'll grow back again, and then I'll harvest them, and then they'll grow back again, but still. Like, I just don't think it should be like that. So we've got seven more blocks that we can upgrade here. See, I'm kind of... The bulletproof glass is not very strong. It's only 3,000 health versus, like, much stronger for reinforced concrete. We're gonna need this to not be here. Is this in the ground, or is this... Like, can I place something on top of this? No, that's like a plate of some kind. Yep. Reinforced iron. Ugh, jeez. I also... I want to get another level of Skull Crusher so I can make a stronger sledgehammer. But that means I'm going to have to take, I think, at least two points of strength. I don't know if I want to sink literally all those levels into strength. I haven't been back to my base since this morning, and I haven't been working on my bunker. Uh, and my bunker still needs a lot of work as well. See, so yeah, there we go. We're out of concrete now. <sighs> well, we had to use one to repair that one block or whatever. But we're, uh, our infection is slowly building here, so I really feel like sooner rather than later we've got to get back to the base. But uh, yeah, this is pretty much going to be it. I'm going to leave the episode here. Uh, but this is what we are working on. We are going to start getting our fire station converted over into our POI where we are going to survive the night. I've got to set up a roof access. I mean, basically, at least the way I have always done it in the past and the way that you used to do it is you set up like a ramp, like say over here. And you set it up so it's spaced away from this. So that way if zombies climb up it, they can't actually get to the roof. But then you basically jump from that ramp over to the roof. Or you just put like a little wooden block down and, and do that. So that's what we're going to do as well for roof access, I believe. We'll put it maybe yeah, somewhere over here on the side or maybe somewhere in the back of the building. But yeah, we're going to leave it here. This is pretty much it. Short and sweet today. I really, really appreciate you guys checking out the episode. Thank you so, so much for all the love and support. If you're new here, please subscribe to the channel, like the video so that YouTube knows that you like this and, uh, you know, ring that bell. So that way you're notified whenever I release a new episode. I got to get more of these kind of things in here too. this little awning piece here because spider zombies will try to climb up the roof to get me. But it looks like a lot of this is pretty well protected from that. So I just need to kind of add to that protection as well. This is a pretty strong POI already, so I'm glad that I picked this. And we need to just kind of amp out our defenses. And this will be, hopefully, where we will make a successful stand against the 64 zombie blood moon coming up on day 14. So until next time, thank you so, so much for watching. You are amazing. I love your beautiful faces. Have a great day. Bye. Ooh. Batter up. <laughs>